And so I'm back underneath the big willow tree. Ah, uh, it is a rough road. Yesterday I was coming up, I did 800 kilometers on Orma, respect to Orma, 800 kilometers in one day for this little one-cylinder motorcycle, it's amazing. And I went up from uh, Colbun directly straight up here to uh, Huertado, to my space, here and it felt like returning home. Everybody knew me, the dogs were awaiting me and it was a warm, cheering welcome from the family. And now I set up back my big tent here. from the, the house up there you know where the stables are for the alpacas and uh, this is why I, I like it some kind of so, so much here because I really got to walk 100 meters until you get to my tent and really this is like a uh, perfect day nobody else around so yeah look at the weight and it's beautiful <laughs> Last two days I had visitors from a neighboring country at home, in, from Switzerland. It was Marina and Rino. As me, they are constantly traveling and yeah, for the next years they're gonna stay in South America. 
and they've been here for two days and we had some nice chats and talks always good to talk in your own language again talking my dialect in German I loved it and they are heading south and they're gonna do some volunteering on uh, husky farm and and with uh, dog sleds and gonna be there for the winter down in Via Rica very interesting there's Reno making the last the bags getting ready for the road this is Marina the beautiful Kawasaki versus Jawohl, ciao 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 Hey guys, as you can see, I'm still in the area of Rio Hurtado. I just moved my tent out of the underneath this beautiful tree, you know, my El Dorado, uh, because it's by the river, it got quite cold. We are now in the, uh, the, the shortest day of the year here in Chile has been just a few days ago, so it really gets cold. And so I, so I moved out there and then I had to wait a few few weeks for delivery for some uh, for a new sleeping bag and I got a new uh, a mattress uh, because I'm going next to the Altiplano and it's winter and the Altiplano everything is about 3,500 meters so yeah needed some warmer stuff and in the meantime I didn't sleep in my small tent I just set it up today for uh, to try out it everything is fine I was sleeping in this big one there there you go because the family I'm staying here, they wanted to get a, a tent for the family and then uh, they asked for my advice and then we came to it and then I had the idea to just give them uh, a third of the price of the tent and as long as I'm here, I could stay in the bigger one. So this was really, this is glamping. Let's have a look inside. There's the old sleeping bag, the new sleeping bag. Oh, the guitar I could borrow also. And here's the pullover. And I had a pullover done by uh by the family here that's a, one of their businesses and i had it it's made out of the wool of the alpacas right here the black is from clarita and the white wool is from uh it was lotus lily and lotus lily is the grandmother of amadeus uh, it's the small blind alpaca that was born when i was here uh, uh, when i was last here so i got an alpaca pullover i got a down sleeping bag I got a nice uh, colchoneta, a nice uh, uh, sleeping mat. Orma really got an overhaul. We got now new big tires in the front. They're just a bit wider because I couldn't get the, the right dimensions here. Yeah, and I drew a little bit on it and made some memories. This is like really, this is one of the best investments I, I did. Heated grips. And I never had heated grips before. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a petrol head since I'm since I can since, since I'm allowed to ride motorcycles, or even before that. And uh, always thought I I don't need heated grips because I just did not know. But yeah, this is how you make progress. This is how you evolution. Now I got some, and I tried it out at night in the in the in the desert. And 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 it was just it's just brilliant. It's like uh, uh, you know with the, all the gear on and you zip up, you close the 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 visor of your your helmet, turn on the heated grips. It's like sitting in the in the in, in your in your living room, watching TV, passing the the nature passing by. It's it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, there's some other stickers here from the Scotland 500. I've been there two years ago. Uh, Glam's Egg. It's for drag racing, uh, kind of coffee racer meeting. Yeah, <laughs> you can see I got a lot of time. Well, and now I'm heading up to uh, to San Pedro de Atacama. This is about 1,500 kilometers up to the north. And the first 1,000 kilometers are going to ride uh, small gravel roads along the coast. Uh, should be nice and warm. Well, at night it's going to be like 5 degrees Celsius, but still okay. And I'm going there till Antofagasta, and in Antofagasta I go over and ride to San Pedro de Atacama. And say goodbye to this place it was beautiful and now we head on mm -hmm. 